What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a sick mobile auto detailing setup and it's not mine. It's not yours. It's not out of a truck or a van or a trailer. It's out of a sedan. Yeah, a sedan. And this blows my old setup and my new current setup out of the water completely. Let's check it out. What's going on guys? This is Gian of Revive Auto Detail. Today for this video we're going to show you this setup. Uh, the whole setup right here uh how it's gonna fit on this chrysler 200 everyone's saying that you cannot fit or you cannot do detail using a sedan car but today we're gonna show you how you can do a mobile detailing business using your sedan car. only using the trunk and the back seat of the the car okay so we're gonna show you what what, what i have here uh pretty much everything on this table that's what i use to do the job so this is how I build my setup, okay? The wood right here, the plywood right here, the size of it is the 38 by 30. Um, it's based on the trunk of the Chrysler 200 right there. So if you guys wanna start this kind of build, make sure you measure the, the, the trunk first so you guys know how you're gonna set up or lay out the all the equipment you have. So I have the tank right here. It's a 33 gallon water tank. I've done like three cars with this tank and I didn't have a problem. And um, I bought that from Amazon. Just look it up. I think it's only $103. And I have the 1800 PSI Ryobi and it's hooked up on this extension uh, cord with reel. But the thing is I, I cut the wire. All right, guys, let's just point out how clean this setup is. Not only is it just set up so well and efficiently, it's just so clean. The way that it's color coordinated, everything is laid out so well. A lot of thought was put into this setup. It's no wonder this setup has gotten so much attention online because it's out of a sedan and you're very limited on space. So forget a nice killer setup out of a truck or a van. This is in a sedan. So being able to create something that's so efficient and effective in such a small amount of space, it takes a lot of dedication and a lot of creativity and uh this reel right here also kind of modify it to put this um guide the wire guide up here it used to be somewhere on this side or this side but i put it now on on top so it you know it's not on the way when i put it inside the trunk and then this reel right here there's a lot of people asking me about this reel for my pressure washer actually it's a it's a reel for air hose, which is DeWalt. Not only is it just a clean setup, he has everything you need to run a business. He has a water tank, he has a pressure washer, he has a hose reel, he has an electric cord reel. He has absolutely everything you could possibly need in a sedan. So don't tell me you need to run a business like this out of a truck or a van, or you need to have a trailer set up to look professional. Look at this setup. It has absolutely everything you could ever, ever need. Does it have the top of the line, most professional, expensive equipment? No, but like he says in this video, he's just getting started. This is his family vehicle, and he made an awesome setup on a platform that can be taken in and out of the trunk with ease, with a helping hand, and this way he can use it for family use or business use. Of course, I need the, the gas uh, container. And this one is the retractable hose, which is also 50 foot. If the customers allow me to use their water, I just hook this up to the their house going to the pressure washer, which is, you know, it's very easy. And all my drying towels and mitts goes in this bin. So it stays clean. Uh, and yeah, it's right there. And I also have this vacuum right here. It's a three-in-one vacuum for um, extraction of the seat and carpet and then I also use it for blower uh, as uh, you know uh, I dry the car and um, blow the old so I use that vacuum very good vacuum very powerful and uh, like everyone's asking me how I did the drawers so this is the drawers when I take it out from the trunk of the car I have four drawers those drawers came from I bought it in Ikea it's actually my kids um, used to be a toy storage so and then the way i did it is like this let's flip it all right so i bought this like metal piece 
in Home Depot like that and then you know screw it in, screw it on the, the wood the plywood but soon I'm gonna paint that also in green because you know green is money so I have this one I put all the small brushes interior brush the wheel brush it's there this is the exterior uh, microfibers interior microfibers and the some applicators right there so that's how I hooked it up and then later I'm gonna show you guys and then I'm I'm gonna show you guys how I put it on the trunk of the Chrysler 200 right there so now I'm gonna show you how I put these drawers in the trunk of this Chrysler 200 so I bought this metal L-shaped metal bracket right here in Home Depot so I bolt it on using there's an existing hole like this on this side so it's right there and then this one this is the l-shaped bracket so the board slides on this and then it stays secure and also the same on the other side okay guys so now we're gonna show you how we can how we're gonna put in this setup inside the trunk of this um, Chrysler 200 okay so that thing goes in and out because sometimes we use it for family trips and um, now we use it for business so and also this is one of the important things that you have to consider have to mesh. So is everything concealed to the trunk? No, but everything that is needed for car washing is all concealed to the trunk. The water tank, pressure washer, the hose reel, the electric cord reel, and all the cubbies that he has above for all the towels. It's important that he focused on this back area because when he backs up to a vehicle that he's about to work on and he opens the trunk, that is what the customers are going to see. That is the representation of his business. Okay, so the way that his trunk is all set up just like that, that is basically the face of his business. He's backing up to that driveway, he's popping that trunk, and he's got that killer, clean, color-coordinated setup right there on display. So that's the most important part right there. I have spaces right here, so I might put the chemicals on this side. I'm just going to make a another woodwork right here where I, where I can put the chemicals so I don't have to use the bin. Because as much as possible, I don't want anything on the back seat, so it looks, it still looks neat, all right. And also, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So yeah, so the drawers works like that, all right. And then that's it. So there you go, guys. That's the full setup of um, Revive Auto Detail. That's how we managed to start our business using a sedan, which is a Chrysler 200 and the whole setup is right here and if we're planning to add more and we're gonna find way how we can stay minimal or minimalist on this setup and um yeah now is it professional to run a business out of a sedan a lot of you could argue that it's not but when you are just getting started i don't see any problem with using a sedan especially if it's your personal vehicle now yeah sure i run my business out of my truck but that's my personal vehicle it just doesn't make sense for me right now to have multiple vehicles, one for work, one for personal use. And to be honest, most of us, if you're doing this full time, most of the days of the week when you're working, you're using that vehicle. So what am I going to do? Have a personal vehicle to use on the weekend, on a day off, one or two days a week? It really doesn't make much sense. So it does not matter if you're using a truck, a van, or a car, as long as you are creative and you are determined you can create an awesome, professional, clean-looking setup right out of the trunk of your car. So there you have it, guys. A mobile detailing setup out of a sedan. It's pretty crazy. So don't tell me it's not possible. Don't tell me it's not possible to look professional and have an awesome, efficient setup out of a sedan. We have water, electric. We have a pressure washer, a hose reel, an electric cord reel, cubbies for towels, all the chemicals, we've got it all. Color coordination between the platform itself and the pressure washer, everything just flows and looks good. This is creativity at its finest, people. And if you wanna get it done and you wanna start your business, quit making excuses. This guy did not make any excuses. 
Revibe Auto Detail. Click the link down below in the description. Give him a subscribe. Give him a like. He deserves all the credit possible for this one. I'm sure he'll be super happy to answer any questions you have about his setup and how you could possibly set your sedan up for mobile detailing. As for my setup, if you are a subscriber and you've seen some of my older videos, as in like a month ago or so, I was working on my setup in my truck. I had some serious plans for it to make it super awesome, super efficient, and make my life a little easier. In regards to that, it's been put on pause. I have decided to not invest any more money in that setup, and for good reason. I have some other plans coming my way for auto detailing. And that's a surprise. For more content like this and to find out what that surprise is in regards to what I'm doing with my auto detailing business, give the video a like, subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you on the next one.